We've all heard of World War I, but how much do we really know? For example, did you know tanks were first introduced in World War I and it took four men to steer one? In World War I, approximately 620,000 Canadians enlisted in the Canadian Expeditionary Force. Ernest Aaron signed up for the war in 1916, two years after the war had started. He was an Aboriginal man from a small town in Ontario called Oswegan. There, he worked as a labourer with Canada Glue Works. After he signed up for the war in 1916, he was sent off overseas at a, as a part of the CEF, Canadian Expeditionary Force. Overseas held many dangers as a soldier. Within the first year of fighting out in the field, Ernest had a fracture to his right ankle. He was lucky it was only a fracture as he was able to go back out and fight. Many things could have caused the fracture. Machine guns firing, running from poisonous gas, or even tripping on barbed wire. Barbed wire was a big part of the soldiers' lives. It was placed in no man's land between the trenches and used as defense against the enemy. The wire was brutal and getting caught up in it was very easy. When trying to cross between the trenches, you were usually using wire cutters to cut through. Often soldiers were shot at while trying to cross, making the brutal wire even worse as it was used as a death trap. Barbed wire was some of the more simple technology used. This didn't mean it was any less brutal or harsh. The first tank was made in 1915, and one of the reasons it was so helpful to the war was because it was able to roll over wire faster than soldiers could cut through. Over the course of the war, technology advanced, posing a greater threat to soldiers like Ernest. Many were injured and a lot more were killed. Today, we still see technology advancing, turning into weapons of mass destruction, we see weapons like nuclear bombs being built that can cause horrible consequences for our world. Through all of that, barbed wire has stayed in use, and it is still a common tool used for more mundane purposes. We can look at barbed wire as a symbol of World War I. The way the wire was so brutal and impacted the soldiers on a more personal level compared to other machines used. The barbed wire gives us a glimpse into the brutal conditions of the war front and what Canadian soldiers might have been through.